What is up my beautiful ninjas? How you doing today? So I kind of forgot that there was a second part. Mundane troubles? Is Asta not here? I'll go let her to know. No, what happened to Rich Mona? Heritor Newsflash. Good evening, Madam Herta fans. This is an urgent broadcast. What? The great Madam Herta, member 83 of the Genius Society, has been targeted in an attack at the space station. Her current whereabouts are unknown, with no group having stepped forward to claim responsibility. Many heritors are upset at the ineptitude of upper management, having issued strong protest and condemnation. What? Was the black bar necessary, really? Like, you can't tell that's Herta? Huh? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. More cutscene with her, huh? Mr. Skoolum. This was a premeditated attack. I bet a wheelchair. Conclusion. Their target was the space station. But their strategies are still unknown to us. Screw daddy? That's right. Which is precisely why we need her. Oh, the douchebag. The last to lay eyes on her as puppet before the attack was her. What? I'm innocent. <laughs> this is profiling. How could you? Um, and you are? This is Dr. Ratio of the Intelligentsia Guild, a delegate from the IPC. Oh, no wonder I hate him. She's only just woken up. Dazed. She may need... Really? Pointers. The holy music? You have got to be ah, kidding me. we cross paths again. Do you remember me? <laughs> of course. Why would you? Memory is such a fickle thing, after all. Bruh, I've seen too much of you lately. Miss Trailblazer. You must have many questions. Please be patient. Asta will explain it all to you. Please help me, Pink Mona. You probably know the gist of things already. A few system hours ago, one of Madame Herta's puppets was attacked by an unknown perpetrator. We don't know the location of the puppet, and we can't pinpoint its signal. There was no surveillance, so somebody was able to just walk in and just kidnap Herta. This whole station is filled with her followers. That's kind of a massive L. No. The attack happened on a base outside the station, beyond the surveillance camera's range. <sighs> She's away on a visit. This issue didn't seem to trouble her much. She received an invitation from the IPC before the attack occurred. Was it a setup? Ah, uh, the technology department. Charming little place, isn't it? Madame Yaboli does possess some semblance of competence, but her subordinates? Oof. Oh, they're a riot. Brimming with enthusiasm, yet utterly devoid of intellect. It's as if evolution halted prematurely for them. They want to start some new collaborations with Herta, and have graciously extended an invite for me to play the role of science consultant. It's delightfully amusing. I can't wait to witness firsthand how these geniuses from the so-called Super Smart Club squander the IPC's vast resources. You know what Ratio reminds me of? Like an effective Squidward. However, this attack was timed a little too well. I can't help but wonder if someone leaked this information and the attackers seized the opportunity. Herta's aloof response to these juvenile provocations? Hmm. Almost as intriguing. What a delightful little puzzle. I've long heard that you're one of the best researchers in the guild, Dr. Ratio. We are honored to have your assistance. Oh, don't help him. Save your flattery. Time is hardly a luxury we can squander. To debate the merits of mere mortals in the company of an actual genius? Quite the paradox, if you ask me. Uh, excuse me, you. Um, tell me, what were you doing the last time you saw that puppet? Is this an interrogation? I don't deserve this. I was just walking the dog, man. Huh? Well, invite me next time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's honestly too cute. Uh, don't play the fool. Think. I think I was... Some system hours ago. Oh! Right. I need your help with something else. That curio's gone missing, and I can't just forget about it. Go find it for me when you have the time. I'm sure you can manage that, can't you? Let me describe it again in case you forgot. It's an... 
What? It's alive, but it doesn't have a body. Erda, what the hell just happened? Did your throat get possessed by Satan? Send me a signal when you see traces of it. And what? What? I think she mentioned something important, but I can't remember. If only there were some hints, then maybe... Anyway, keep up the good work. I need to go out for a bit. Go ask Asta if you want someone to help you. This is what I recall before I met Herta. But I can't remember some of the details. It's a bubble, Stella. Let me try to remember the conversation with Asta. Explore the related Asta's troubles. Hmm. A curio that's alive but doesn't have a body. Sorry, but nothing comes to mind. You failed me. Maybe the researchers at the Departments of Ecology or Insight may have an idea? Hinkle and are around here somewhere. I'd suggest you ask them about it. Okay, what the hell is happening here? We need an exorcism. Those despicable villains are distorting the truth online. First time. Ugh. If I discover who's behind this, they're gonna wish they'd never crossed me. Ask for clues about the lost curio. A curio that's alive but doesn't have a body? Isn't that just a jinx? Jinx? Is this a Teen Titans reference? Oh, nowadays people call them wubbaboos? A wubbaboo? That doesn't sound right. Well, I might be the Department of Ecology head, but I'm not the most knowledgeable person when it comes to curios. Adler would be of more help, but he's been investigating some paranormal phenomenon. I haven't seen him all day. So not only do I have to find a curio, I have to find a person too. I must say, it's a little embarrassing for the space station to be in such disarray while guests are visiting. We've been through a huge crisis and are still recovering. But there are some who are trying to exploit the chaos to agitate the workforce. People are growing more and more distrustful of the management here. It's probably turned into a big headache for Asta too. Never mind, I shouldn't be telling you this. It's something that we researchers need to resolve ourselves. Pretend I didn't say anything. Really, that's like the one thing that's gonna make me remember. What? He went to the scene alone with Peppy? How could you let him? Uh, calm down, Brother Arlen. I, I know you're upset. What the hell are you people doing? We're walking the dog. Where Peppy yet? Where? We're having a walk. Can you get your story straight first? <sighs> like I said, we're walking the dog. Now shut the hell up and help me. So I'm the dog? Bex. They seem to be hiding something. <clears throat> Is there something you need? I'm looking for Adler. Oh really? What a coincidence. We're looking for him too. That kid sure is brave. Running straight to the scene on his own. Aren't you supposed to be walking the dog? Ah, uh, yes. Well, uh, Peppy isn't here, you see. Uh, so you admit you lied to me. <sighs> Brother Arlen, I, I can't keep this up anymore. <sighs> Can you leave the talking to me next time? Well, you didn't do much better yourself anyway. Is there a problem? <sighs> Let's walk and talk. Over there. Peppy! As I thought, he's in trouble. Let's go. I'm gonna protect that dog, bruh. The hell with the kid. Peppy, are you okay? Bruh, Peppy. Oh, he's so cute, man. Are you really the one that knows the most about curios? That's me. What's up? I kind of was hoping that Peppy could talk. She wants to ask you something about curios. I'll leave you to it. Adler, Peppy's in your hands now. Oh, about that investigation I asked for. Don't worry. I think I figured something out. Catch you later. Yes, Arlen's gone. So, which curio do you want to know about? One that has no body but is alive. That's all you got? Too abstract. What the hell do you want from me? That's all her to said, man. Well, there's beauty in the abstract, I guess. Have you asked the Department of Ecology head? She said it might be a bubba boo. Huh, she's not wrong. But that doesn't feel entirely right, either. I heard something like that also exists in the Redacted. Huh? What did I say? Huh. Now that you mention it, I have a wild hypothesis. But it needs verifying. Let's call it a day. Wait for me. I'll be in touch. Are you kidding me? I saved your life and you can't even help me? Adler seems to have gotten a lead, but... What was the information I forgot? And from whom? This day sucks. How's it going? 
Did you find the information you're after? I haven't made any progress yet. Oh, come on. I see. Is that what Hinkle and think? At least that counts as a lead. See? My researchers are pretty outstanding. Is this run made? Is she messing with my brain again? I heard you're in a bit of a trouble. Just business as usual. Nothing to worry about. After the Legion's invasion, the space station has been under constant scrutiny. Physical damage can be easily repaired, but it takes a long time to heal the wounds in people's hearts. Some researchers have been questioning the management and security of the space station ever since the invasion. Things had settled down a bit with the reconstruction efforts, but the researchers' disappearances have rattled them again. Researchers' disappearances? Yes. Four researchers have inexplicably disappeared in a matter of days. No exit logs, no traces. Vanished. People were just starting to regain their footing after the catastrophe. I didn't want panic to spread, so I suppressed the reports and told the security department to investigate in secret. However, as you can see, it's hard to keep secrets in a sardine can like this. Rebuilding trust is harder than establishing it in the first place. I'm concerned someone's pulling strings to sway public opinion. Who would possibly hurt Herda? She doesn't even talk to anybody. Anyway, the most important thing is to get to the bottom of the disappearances. Do you need my help? Th that's okay, but thank you for the offer. Uh, aren't you helping Madame Herda with something already? Oh, by the way, I heard about the thing mentioned, uh and I'll look into it too. I'll find a way to solve the problem for the space station. This is getting really frustrating. So I did consult someone else other than Hinkle. The only thing I remember is that they're from the Department of Insight. Hey, what brings you here, Rich? It's been so long. <laughs> I'm not that wonderful. I'm just okay. It's all taken care of. As long as the money's there, it's all good. Here's the account you asked for. It's legit and secure, allowing you to connect straight to the internet. Mm-hmm, sure. Can I help you with something? Oh, you flatter me. I'm just a peddler doing a little business on the side. Y'all are way too shady to be in the same room as Herda. Small scale, best left under the table. But if you ever make it big in the guild, don't forget your humble friend, okay? Uh, again? How many times has it been? You're really pushing my buttons. Here too. My memories are just a jumbled mess of words. Did my memory piece together irrelevant information? Restore the muddled memory. I say, what a wonderfully intelligent looking young lady. <laughs> I'm not that wonderful. I'm just okay. No need to be modest. At my age, you get a feel for intelligence. Though, I confess I did hear someone say you were the shining star of the Department of Insight. Who the hell is this Emily chick? Can we talk about somebody more relevant? Mm hmm Sure. Can I help you with something? See this material here? <laughs> People are so inconsiderate. How's someone like me supposed to make out the small print? I'm not getting any younger, and my eyesight is failing. Do you think you can- Clearly those glasses are not helping. Uh, again? How many times has it been? You're really pushing my buttons. Hey, could y'all shut the hell up? I mean, hello. Oh. Another smart-looking youngster. <laughs> Wonderful. It's about time we had some new recruits. No, I'm not joining the herd of cult. Huh. Asta told you to find me? A curio that doesn't have a body but is alive. Isn't the Department of Ecology full of curio experts? That's got nothing to do with the Department of Insight. I'm gonna hurt somebody. However, I've heard of such a species. A colleague who came back from a business trip said that the Sienjo Alliance has life forms like that. Uh, don't get me wrong, I was merely relaying information. I didn't mean I'd help you. <sighs> the atmosphere on the space station has been getting stranger lately. It's risky taking sides. I figured you'd come to me to uncover the truth. Are you actually going to be useful now, Arlen? I'm sorry. The situation is very delicate. 
I can't say anything except that it's a secret mission. Why am I here? I'm literally being sent by Herda about Redacted. Just as I thought, I vaguely remember that Arlen said more. It's related to the thing I forgot. About the researchers' disappearances. <gasps> How did you know? Asta just told me instead of being a fake friend. I see. Could you also tell that Lady Asta was feeling the pressure? Have you found anything? I'll be honest with you. It's been tough. The surveillance didn't capture anything regarding the researcher's disappearance. There's only one clue. Adler observed that the automatic fire suppression system was momentarily activated around the time the disappearances occurred. Aren't you supposed to be like the head of security? You gotta suck. That means that every victim's disappearance was accompanied by some inexplicable fire. When we made visits to the scenes, some of the witness testimonies seemed to agree with this. The words they used were spontaneous combustion of the human body. Wait, like fire? Have you asked the Department of Ecology head? She said it might be a wubba-boo. Huh, she's not wrong. But that doesn't feel entirely right either. I heard something like that also exists in the Shienjo Alliance. Ah, that's right! They're called Heliobi! I guess you could say that wubba and Heliobi are sort of like cousins. Both are types of energy life form. Huh. Now that you mention it, I have a wild hypothesis, but it needs verifying. Let's call it a day. Wait for me. I'll be in touch. Why can't you do anything on the spot? You're like, please wait 24 business hours, the person. So the energy life form? That's not the point. I wouldn't be bothering with it if it didn't have something to do with the genius society. Anyway, keep up the good work. I need to go out for a bit. Go ask Asta if you want someone to help you. Uh, don't get kidnapped? I commend your stamina for recounting that interminable tale. You must be exhausted. My ears certainly are. What the hell did you have me speak for? So, to sum it up, the last time you laid eyes on Herta was in her office. She sent you on a wild goose chase for some trinket, the curio. After which you knew nothing else until Lady Asta contacted you. If that's the narrative you're sticking to, then indulge me. Who, pray tell, can substantiate this captivating drama? Asta? A second-hand account. She wasn't at the scene. Hearsay hardly counts as compelling evidence, now does it? God dang it, stop being intelligent. Affirmation. We can ask Herta herself. Well, if you lace up those boots and start sprinting now, you might just catch the IPC shuttle in four system hours. But as it stands, not a single soul can corroborate her story. You know, I have a bomb in me. Mr. Ratio, your style of questioning would seem to have a preconceived bias. Apologies, it's an unfortunate habit of mine. When one is immersed in academic research, skepticism comes far more naturally than belief. It is also the most efficient method, judging from my experience. Seeking answers with a negative hypothesis in mind is still valid research. It can still help us reach the truth. If she is truly innocent, she can clear her name with answers. Dude, what the hell? I have done nothing wrong. The curio isn't the point. Herta was only addressing it because of its relation to the Genius Society. I would imagine the Curio is the creation of a genius. Affirmation, it holds some special meaning to Herta. Yes, that seems logically sound. Why do you look heartbroken? Go to hell, man. The space station has been very distrustful of its higher management ever since the Antimatter Legion's invasion. Another severe incident would further intensify suspicion and cause great internal strife. Oh, so that explains why Lady Asta approved of my participation. After all, the Intelligentsia Guild's representative wouldn't be linked to the space station, but would still share the IPC's position. They wouldn't be partial to anyone, but would still act for the space station's benefit. Two birds with one stone. <laughs> what the hell? Why does he look so smug all of a sudden? No, 
If I recall correctly, Asta said, One of Madame Herta's puppets was attacked by an unknown perpetrator. We don't know the location of the puppet and we can't pinpoint its signal. This is the most flamboyant interrogation I've ever seen. Don't know the location. Isn't that the same as missing? She did say that. But then what? You need to provide evidence to show incidents are linked. There should be evidence. Arlen discovered something odd when he was investigating the disappearances. The space station's automatic fire suppression system was momentarily activated around the time the disappearances happened. Arlen mentioned that each victim disappeared due to spontaneous combustion. Huh. But there are no signs of a fire anywhere in the space station. Asta, aren't you a fire character? That's what's so odd about it. But this information has an additional layer of importance. This may not be direct evidence, but if the system also recorded the fire suppression system activating when the puppet was attacked, then there's ample evidence to indicate that these two cases are linked. We win, finally. If these two incidents were caused by the same person, then the suspicion put on you would decrease, provided that this fire suppression record does exist in the system. We'll see in the main control room. Let's go. Uh, huh? What was that? Carrier News Flash. This is an urgent broadcast. I repeat, this is an urgent broadcast. News has finally emerged regarding the attack on Madame Herta. The Annihilation Gang has claimed responsibility for the incident and warned of further activity. The Guild has expressed utmost condemnation. What the Inferno, dude? The gods of the starry skies have abandoned the world. They give no thought to the masses. Only the wounded savior can bathe the world in the firelight of destruction. Bro, you already did. Yet always there are cowards trying in vain to reject their favor and escape the wounds. Flee then. Flee as far as you can. No matter the distance, annihilation will find you. Man, he was talking real big until May just altered his ass, didn't he? This is... A declaration of war, and an announcement of what's to come. They have set their sights on you. The Legion's impact remains, and the Annihilation Gang is already paying a visit. It almost seems like this space station is more suited for the path of destruction than erudition. This Duke Inferno Ifrit is a life form that hails from Fatora. A world long since destroyed. His race, the ever-burning fire demons, regard Nanook as their emperor and savior, but the Eon has never cast their gaze upon them. And I got that in like 10 seconds. A group of pitiful lunatics. I like Dr. Primitive's assessment of them. The value Nanook sees in the Annihilation Gang is perhaps far less than one might see in a child who deliberately broke a vase. Disappointment. The fire demons have a cruel temper and instinctively ignite and destroy items. Ifrit is particularly evil and cruel, even among his kin. The Everflame mansion he heads is even the arch enemy of the Japella Brotherhood, despite both groups belonging to the Annihilation Gang. Japella Brotherhood? I've heard that name somewhere. On the Stellaron Hunters Wanted posters, they stand accused of inciting the Japella Rebellion, the uprising that caused the downfall of the Brotherhood. Wait, was that one of the Kafka trailers, or am I misthinking things? The Japella Palace crumbled in the scorching flames, and Ifrit's power has grown by the day ever since. Would you believe it would be merely a coincidence? Something similar is about to happen here. Spontaneous combustion? For him, it's as routine as me finding fault in everything. The disappearance of researchers and the puppet were all part of the plan. And after that, that video will soon circulate. And this station's fate? Flames. Nothing 
but flames. The destruction of trust. So you're gonna let me out of here so I can do something? I'm afraid more than trust will be destroyed here. You need to start acting now if you want to survive. You, come with me. It's about damn time. Just me? You have a superior strategy? Pray tell, do we set the two of them loose, turning whispered fears into full-blown pandemonium? If we did that, we'd be at a disadvantage. I'll stay here and try to contain the news as best I can. Please, investigate the issue quickly. Oh, Asta looks so sad. Okay. Not good. This is serious. The security department will do whatever we can to help you. Really? Now? A list of the missing researchers and their details. Sure, but the security department already combed through their backgrounds and personal relationships. We didn't find anything odd. The Annihilation Gang are a group of die-hard thugs. They might be attacking indiscriminately. A list of the missing researchers and their details. Damn, you're just putting the toes on this man. Okay. Take it. Remember these names. Find a friend who's tuned into the gossip around here and tell them you want to know the relationship between these people. What do you have in mind? I don't know. That depends on your friend. What friend again? Oh, Pamela. What else do you need me to do? Take me to the one who knows the most about curios within the Department of Ecology, if you would be so kind. <sighs> he... he disappeared too. Doing a great job, Marlin. What happened? I didn't really notice at first. Adler's difficult to get a hold of at the best of times. But it's been a few system hours and I still can't reach him. Even the surveillance cameras can't find any trace. The last time I saw him was in the Master Control Zone. He was with Wen Sherling from the Department of Implement Arts. Lead the way. You said Adler was on the verge of a discovery, yet couldn't confer his knowledge. Intriguing and frustrating, to say the least. If his disappearance is also related to the case here, then maybe he really did stumble upon something... important. True. The key words that got Adler thinking were energy life forms. Duke Inferno is also an energy life form. Coincidence? There are no coincidences. We need to investigate this. That jerk! 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 That's what I say every time Ratio pops up. Fine! Disappear! I don't ever want to see your face again! Who got you so upset? Oh, uh, it's you. It's Adler. Adler. <laughs> oh damn, that's actually bad. He, he's been acting really weird recently. Always researching stuff like spontaneous combustion, supernatural activities. He doesn't even answer me when I speak to him. He, he was talking to himself. What did he talk about? He kept saying the word phrase. Phrase. We'll get him back. Who said I want him back? What? Damn. But if you want to find him, he was reading this booklet the last time I saw him. I don't know exactly what he's searching for, but I hope it can help you. Hmm. Your countenance suggests tragedy. Recount Pamela's findings. So the researchers who disappeared were at the forefront of challenging management. Isn't that a curious puzzle piece? Sounds like an insurrection to me. I finished browsing through this booklet while you were replying to messages. It recorded the lives of a few Genius Society members. I'd say it contains some interesting information. It's time to go back and chat with Lady Asta and Mr. Screwlum. Bro, we ain't barely making any progress today. You're back. Asta! I've been monitoring the dark web. I barely managed to stop the video from spreading. The incident hasn't grown any bigger, for now. How are things with you? <sighs> Less than promising. Or to use a different phrase, we're in deep trouble. We're running out of time. Let's retrace our steps and evaluate the situation. From the data we've collected, there are three avenues we can explore. 
Again? During prior unrest instigated by the Everflame Mansion, some testify to seeing miscreants materialize from the Inferno. Still, are people about to die? Why are you so excited about this? The flickering tongues of Duke Inferno's fire carrying a certain property. And this property is the secret behind spontaneous human combustion. Look, the answer is right there. When Schurling said, Adler kept muttering about a phrase before he disappeared. I believe this word was actually phase. He saw member 29 Sir Call's research topic in this booklet and verified his hypothesis. As a scion of the phase flame, Duke Inferno would naturally share similar capabilities. Full on phase shifting may be a bit too ambitious for him, but teleportation. That's likely more his speed. That is the truth of the spontaneous human combustion. The researchers didn't disappear. They were moved. So Duke Inferno was just teleporting them? We don't know where the victims went, but Duke Inferno's plan is now clear. And the sudden and consecutive disappearances provided the best environment for chaos to fester. Once the seed of unrest has sprouted, he will then send out an announcement for an imminent attack. It will push the crisis from the dark into the light, catalyzing it into new growth and bloom. The next step would be to ignite the spark. Look at those researchers who disappeared. What would happen if someone realized their similarities? I need say no more. It was all a premeditated trap to stir up chaos on the space station. We're running out of time. But what are we going to do? This... No, it isn't enough. Indeed, it needs one more spark. What do you mean? If you limit your involvement to this, there's still room for excuses. If it were me, I wouldn't give you the chance. What? Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Oh. Asta's not. Huh? What is it? Oh hell no! Oh, <laughs> what? No! 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 Stay calm. Asta was merely teleported. Her life was not in danger. But screw daddy, we gotta do something! Based on first-hand experience, I have ascertained that Ifrit's flame is simply a splinter of the primordial phase flame, lacking any phase shift ability. Logic. Asta is still within the confines of the space station. So what are we gonna do? That flame must still be somewhere inside the station. Find it, and we'll find a way to bring her back. <laughs> a splinter, you say? The arrogance of the gifted is charming in its own way. Try then if you must. It seems that Duke Inferno didn't deign to personally grace the space station. He merely cast infernal fire into our midst to wreak havoc among the researchers. When the fire fizzles out... His malevolent plans will vanish without a trace. It is so weird playing this after he's dead. I will head to Herta's office and activate the folded space in the Curio storage room. With some changes to its parameters, I can use it to block the fire's teleportation routes and seal it inside the station. Mr. Ratio, please go with Miss Trailblazer and contain the fire. The way is awash with flames. It must have just teleported. So we're gonna jump in? Be careful. Get ready to dash into the fire. Wait, I was just playing. I didn't think we were really gonna do it. See? It's still in the space station. Like Skrulem said, it cannot escape from here. You know, I was expecting something a bit more intimidating. It looks like a venom baby. Do you know what to do with cornered prey? Hunt it to the death. Ah, I get it. Because you're a hunt character. The fire. Is dying. This 
place is strange. It's still resisting. The fold in the space has shifted. I can deduce its escape route with a mere glance. Human. Why? This has nothing to do with you. You made this personal when you took Asta. The flame is getting weaker. Duke Inferno can't maintain it anymore. Let's bust his cheeks open in. What is your goal? <laughs> Seems like this chase is about to end. How the hell is this thing so fast? It's just like a ball with eyes. <sighs> it's over. Ignorant fools blindly chasing the firelight. Not knowing that the blessings of destruction already lie at their feet. It is been a wonder that even the descent of the Savior's Legion was unable to cleanse this place. I will acknowledge my brashness. For now, but next time, expect no intermediaries. I will come to personally offer you the demise of your sins with infernal fire. Well, we know how that worked out for you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this dude is literally just like anime Bowser. A small fragment of consciousness in there is gone. Duke Inferno has discarded this fire. Oh? No. Hold on. Wait, why are we touching this? Stella. Oh. Uh. We burned Oh, hell no. Dude, what the hell? All that from just touching the flame? Ah, the banal theatrics of stalling. Let's not. Shall we? This is actually the first time I've used the ratio. Let's test your knowledge. The huh? He just threw, threw an arrow at him? What was that? S.A.S. Kippy. The hell does that mean? Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. Hey, him! Just dropped a pillar on him. So this is the extent of Miss Green's materializing from the Inferno. Seems like Doctor Primitive wasn't wrong. To be honest, I kind of thought that Doctor Primitive was just like one of his alter egos. A test. Oh, the follow-up attack is nice. Yes, the fire is weakening. It's preparing to flee. You, keep your eye out for Lady Asta's whereabouts. Bruh, all I see is the leafy Chinese people. Oh. She back. That's it. It's just gone? I don't know, I was kind of expecting like an explosion or something, I don't know. But at least Mona's back. Good work. You did very well. Yeah, you were a big help back there, Skrulum. How's Asta? Rest assured, Asta only had a fright. She is recovering in the clinic. A fright? That's it? She burst into flames and got kidnapped by space aliens. While you were chasing the enemy, the security department also found the missing researchers. Affirmation. They are all safe and sound. Um, Herda? How did you find them? It was all thanks to Adler. They fell into a spatial curio and could not leave until the Department of Ecology's most knowledgeable curio expert solved it from within. Oh yes, the most knowledgeable experts that did nothing to help me that whole quest. Many of them were shaken by their experience when Arlen found them, but they are otherwise fine. Is it over? Yes. It is over. Why do I feel like you didn't do much? Okay, <laughs> see, it's not just me. Thank you, Stella. This business is over, and I believe the space station will be able to deal with any internal aftershocks. In Herta's stead, I thank you for your efforts, madam. So you have no response to that, I see. But there is one mystery that remains unsolved. <laughs> and that is something I must deal with myself. What are you talking about, man? What oh, cuts you? So many today. 
Oh, it sounds cuter now. What? <laughs> oh. I've been waiting. What? What's happening? Fallout from this incident remains. Surely you have plenty of pressing matters to attend to. Or is the safety of the space station beneath your concern? Wait, is Ratio actually a threat? Answer. That is exactly why I came. After all, the principal figure in this whole affair is right here. Oh, hold on a minute. Oh, hell no. <laughs> when did you start to doubt me? When one is immersed in academic research, skepticism comes far more naturally than belief. Oh, cook his ass. I've had the same bad habit as you since the beginning, Mr. Ratio. I must say, I'm quite honored, Mr. Screwlem. But do explain, why opt for silent wisdom when you already had the pieces of the puzzle? For curiosity's sake, affirmation. I made the same decision as you, to accompany and observe. Oh, and when did you become convinced? Objectively speaking, aside from some minor spiritual trauma, no researchers were hurt in this attack, which never aligned with the Annihilation Gang's modus operandi. Logic, a third party saved them. Had I not fortuitously acquired a spark of the phase flame and intervened in Duke Inferno's teleportation, those people would already be space waste, floating past the windows here. You are more candid than I calculated. But still behaving within your calculations, no? One last question, Skrullum. Genius though you are, can you deduce why I did this? Man, you know, even after this quest, I still don't like Ratio. I cannot be sure and can only hypothesize. Helping the weak hints at the merciful instinct of a medical doctor, but maintaining a cool, detached observation reveals the strictness of a scholar. And pulling the strings from behind the curtain is akin to laying down the gauntlet to a genius. Oh, like with Silverwolf. The ruler of planet Skrulum is indeed well versed in the human mind. It's a pity you're as much in the ivory tower as other geniuses. You still got one thing wrong. To stand aside and observe is the best treatment one can give. There is a disease called foolishness that is harder to cure than any ailment this sounds like a villain speech to me i don't know the path of erudition has neither reason nor logic while geniuses wander among the stars the ordinary can't even trace their footsteps those less gifted have no choice but to walk alone enduring a lifetime of tumbles and triumphs but even a life marked by failure is a life worth living. It is only in moments of solitude and despair, when help is absent, that fools grasp how to pick themselves up. I have a fastidious nature. I cannot stand fools, idiots, or imbeciles. Seeing them fills me with dread. Regrettably, this space station is just like the Intelligentsia Guild, devoid of geniuses and filled with mediocrity. You wish to uproot the researcher's blind worship of geniuses. I am only laying out my questions. As for the answers, they'll find them themselves. You know, I would not be surprised if he ended up being evil. Pursuit tinged with negativity is still pursuit and it is capable of leading us to the right conclusion for the masses of the mediocre to reach a level of awareness this is a necessary rite of passage 
You are indeed more like a medical doctor than a scholar. As for the spark I leave behind, I believe Asta will deal with it properly. It is also a lesson I left for her. With that, I take my leave. I look forward to future encounters with such brilliant minds. Let's hope they're as memorable as those we had today. Um, so about that whole Herda thing? A farce full of trivial concerns. Ultimately, they're just... What? Mediocre minds. He used it himself to teleport? <sighs> Yo, same. I did not authorize your visit to the train gang. I've heard about what you did. Nice work. How's Asta doing? She's got back to work. I beat her safety. What's there to worry about when I'm around? That's exactly why I'm worried. True. Herda, why are you like this? It's a shame that we haven't found the phase flame yet. Forget it. I'll think of it as Rune May owing me a favor. It's worth a lot more. That's it then. Also, I'm thankful to Mr. Ratio. Really? I hate him. Who's that? A? A? What? She doesn't even know who he is? God dang it, man. I need to build my herder. And all right, ninjas, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. This is as much as I enjoyed to making it for your ass, man. Subscribe to become one of my ninjas. Join to become one of my ombu, and I will see you in the next video. Ninjas out.